You guys, this is what happens when you curl your hair with a bubble wand. It's very irregular. It's very much all over the place. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca here and I have dupes for you. I'm so excited. I love dupes. <laughs> if you're new, welcome. I am a 48 year old woman who loves makeup. I mean, I'm, I'm a bargain hunter and so I think that's what draws me to drugstore, but I love all kinds of makeup and I regularly buy luxury makeup, high-end makeup for my own pleasure and enjoyment. Also, so I can see what duplicates are out there in the drugstore world. And so I think I've come up with some really good counterparts. I also want to say that these are formulas and shades that worked well for me, that I thought were a good payoff. So I found a cheaper version of the high-end item and the color might be like a smidge more peach maybe, or maybe the texture is just like that much more shimmery. But for me, I find them to be like 95% the same. <laughs> All right, I am going to start with like primers and base and illuminators and things like that. I will also link my dupes playlist at the end of this video. It'll be on the end card. I'll even put it below in the description box because some of these, you might be going, oh, did you dupe this? And I'll be like, oh, I did. So <laughs> uh, yeah, so let's talk about primers. And this is the Fenty Pro Filter. This is the soft, uh, the, excuse me, the Instant Retouch Primer. And it's actually, it's, it's matte. It's really claims to have a matte finish. And I did buy the small size, as you can see. Um, I am a dry skin, but when something says Instant Filter Retouch, I get excited. So this is the product and it has just, it, it has a bit of lumination, just a little bit. Um, it doesn't dry matte, matte like the Hourglass or some of the other, you know, like super, super matte products. And I think you might go, wait, what, Rebecca? Are you, are you sure? <laughs> yes. Watch. So Pacifica has something called their cosmic or excuse me, crystal primer powered up, illuminating and perfecting. I'm looking at another product that says cosmic. Am I, or did I just make that up? So this is their crystal primer powered up. Now it doesn't talk about being matte or anything like that. Um, it says illuminating and perfecting. And you can tell that it's, I mean, it does have a bit of an illumination to it, but so this still hasn't really dried down. I don't know if you can see. So I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna put a lot of it apparently, uh, underneath and this also, it just, to me, has, I don't think you can see it on camera, really, but it has the same texture. It literally dries down to the same texture and the finish as the Fenty. And, you know, it's Pacifica. And if you're cool with drugstore cruelty-free vegan stuff, um, then, you know. So I'm actually wearing, this is... I shouldn't tell you which is which, and we just talk, no, I'm gonna tell you, because what's the fun? Um, this is all the high-end products, and this is all the drugstore products, and of course, primer, you know, you're not gonna see it on camera with studio lights and, you know, but the idea is that it really, really is very, I mean, it's the same, it's the same. It's the same. Okay, so illuminators. And, and I don't know why it doesn't get more attention for high end, but I think it's just one of those things that just doesn't have kind of a sexy marketing and et cetera. And it's the Alginist, and these are the Reveal Illuminator Drops, and they are so beautiful. So this is Pearl, and they are basically just, you know, in a dropper, um, you can mix this with your foundation. You can put this on as highlighter. Like you can do whatever you want with this. Um, and it has a really pretty 
metallic, just high sheen to it. It's pearl. It comes in other shades. Um, I think something like a rose gold or, you know, it has a, a variety. I found, no pun intended, a the um, found brand, which is at Walmart. And this is actually a clean beauty brand. Um, it's pretty great and it's very affordable. So this is the shade Moonlit and these are reflector drops, illuminating drops, whatever you wanna call them, radiant drops, and they are beautiful. So this shade you might be able to see is a little more pink than the Alginist. Um, again, it comes in other shades. However, the finish on these, I actually prefer to the Alginus, but it's very similar. It's sheer, it's pearl, it doesn't have chunks <laughs> of glitter. It's nice on the skin, it's fragrance free. You know, it's just a really pretty, really pretty product at a fraction of the cost. So that is the Alginist compared to Found. We did Fenty versus Pacifica. We're battling head to head. One more, this is kind of like a, a threesome, <laughs> a thruple. The Rare Beauty Luminizer. This is, ugh, this is so pretty. So this is really, this is what's here. Oh, wait, actually, nope. I feel like I, I've seen some of my favorite YouTubers out there, uh, creator, friends, colleagues in my circle who don't like this, or I can't remember who, I just, I don't know. I saw someone not like this and I was like, how can you not like that? Um, but it's the, Mo the Milani Strobe Light. And this is the liquid highlighter. I have Day Glow. I love this stuff. So, um, I love the tube. It comes out and it is metallic. So maybe people try to dupe this for the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter and it's not. It's, it's, it's a very strong uh, metallic for radiance. I mean, look at that. Rare Beauty Luminizer Drops. This is the shade Mesmerize, a little more pink, you can see, but I wanted to show you because the texture and the finish are so similar. Uh, the Rare Beauty does this thing where it's a little bit, um, I don't know, kind of tacky on the skin. I mean, you can see it's, that's, that's a huge difference, Rebecca. I understand, and I really put a lot of this product on, so let me thin that out a bit. Okay, so we have Rare Beauty and we have Milani. And the idea is that they both, you can put them on, they dry down. So I am wearing on this side of my face, I am wearing the Milani. And that's how I put it on. My Beauty Blender is just damp from before when I used my foundation. And then I took on this side, I've got the Rare Beauty and that's what I did. And it's, they're both, both sides of my face are just beautifully radiant, highlighted. So I just, I think it's a fun, I think it's just something that you can really play with. I mean, heck, if you think Rare Beauty is a little bit too luminous, try the Found Liquid Luminizer because it's a little bit of a smaller, smaller dimension of reflection. Dude, I don't know where that bunch of words came from. Okay, bronzers. This is kind of fun and you're gonna have to bear with me. Use your creativity. Suspend your belief in that dupes have to look exactly the same and like, you know, similar packaging and purpose because I recently uh, treated myself to this Milk Makeup Bronzing Stick and it's the shade Baked. Uh, Mandy Lee loves this. So, I thought, why not? And here it is. <clears throat> My hand is still a little wet from the wipe. Let's do this. So it's definitely a bronzer. It's got a quite a gold yellow undertone. Um, perfect for summer. I am wearing it. I had to kind of go light, you know, but it's pretty. And especially if you like cream bronzers, I think this one is, is a really good, 
really good formula. Now, this L'Oreal True Match Concealer Stick, and it's the shade dun, 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 N678. <laughs> That's what I'm wearing on this side of my face, you guys. So look how bronzy, golden, yellow, almost more of a, a dry down than the other one because it is, you know, it's technically a concealer in terms of formula. But um, the shade and you can, you know, you might even find a shade that works for contour, but it really is, it makes a good, it does make a good bronzer stick. Um, and the finish, like it just, it feels nice. I, I kind of, I, I, I see it. I, I am like, I'm a hundred percent. I got really excited when I was going through my drawer and I thought, you know what? I've had this for so long. This is the Flower Beauty Heat Wave. And this is such an interesting shade of bronzer. It looks in the package like it's just a real dull, cool tone, almost grayish shade. And it's called Sunrise. And it's actually, you'll be surprised because it's not as um, kind of the way it looks in the, in the, in the compact. It has a really pretty, okay, I don't wanna, okay. It has a really pretty, just a soft hue. Um, you know, it's just bronzer, right? It's nice, it's great for uh, fair skins. It's got a little more warmth in it than you would think, but it's still a good subtle shade, not too orange. And it's that baked, Consistency, which I think is so nice for bronzers because I feel like you can just really build and not worry about, you know, putting on too much. And then of course we have the Hourglass, the king of the baked powders, right? So this bronzer here, uh -huh, this was in the lighting palette, wow, a few years ago. I think this is that one, but this shade is still around. It's the Ambient Lighting Bronzer in Luminous Bronze Light. And I'm telling you, you guys, it is exact to the flower heat wave um, in terms of the way it has a finish. It's not there, it's not matte, but it's there's no shimmer to it. And it's got just a bit of warmth. It's very uh, subtle and it even has a little bit of that marbling effect like this one in terms of where you see you think you see a little bit of purple or a little bit of mauve to kind of cool it down but I think if you know you've just kind of had it with um, trying to deal with all the hourglass palettes then um, I think this bronzer is so pretty and I think you'll really like it cream blushes are you guys those are so hot right now, right? And Fenty makes a really good cream blush. Everyone loves the Fenty cream blushes. And somehow I got my hands on this one, which is the Cool, Ber Breeze cool Berry. And it is a very, very, very kind of dark shade. I would not typically get this. Um, and I'll show you. The nice, you guys, I think this is, extraordinary because it's just such a pretty shade. Like it has this mauve and it has these gold flecks in it and it is such a pretty color and it is truly unique. So I feel like what I'm gonna show you is like, you know, it's 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 a good effort, but it may not be, it might be more of an A minus versus an A plus dupe, but the e.l.f. multi-stick, and this is the shade um, Sparkling Rose, and it also is kind of this berry, you know, just kind of that, um, it's got that, more of that berry, rosy thing going for it, and you can tell it's just a little more on the yellow, you know, it has just a little more, more red, this has more pink with yellow undertones and this has maybe more red, but it dries down, it wears beautifully on the cheeks. I'm wearing Fenty here, I'm wearing e.l.f. here, and it's so pretty. And the e.l.f. is so affordable. So if you're looking for a cream blush and you want kind of that berry shade, 
I think it's an excellent choice and you're out just a few dollars and it's just, it's nice. It really, it, I mean, there might be a slight, okay, so that e.l.f. one, well, I don't know though. I feel like it has the same staying power. Yeah, the Fenty's really good, but you guys, the e.l.f. is not to be, not to be messed with. This is probably, you guys, this is so exciting. I am so excited to share with you my discovery. I went ahead and treated myself to the By Terry Hyaluronic Powder Pressed. I have a mini of the Hydra Powder uh, loose powder and this is phenomenal stuff okay so they came out with the pressed version of it recently and um, it it's it's beautiful it's translucent it's lovely so I'm looking at this and I'm like this is very nice and all and how pretty and it's just a very soft powder that you can blend under your eyes you can set your makeup, you can buff it, you can do whatever you want with it. Ooh, look at that, just kind of popped that up. Okay, now, guess what? The Joa Blurfection, which I shared in my uh, Joa, I shared a video like yesterday or whenever it was, <laughs> is at CVS. And it's the same in terms of it is a translucent powder, it is colorless, it is very fine and soft, and you can use it to set your makeup, to set your concealer, to soften and buff out if you want to, uh, you know, just kind of do a finishing powder. And you're thinking, right, okay, Joa, uh-huh, $10 or $8, whatever, $2.50, whatever, and fancy France and all that good stuff. Well, you guys, and then I did my little bit of So the Loose by Terry does not have talc. The Pressed by Terry does. So the ingredient list for the Pressed by Terry is talc, silica, mica, and barium sulfate. The ingredients for the Joa by Kiss. Talc, silica, mica, barium sulfate. Your Honor, I rest my case. Octadenocaprylic magnesium, magnesium stearate, trethocyclic, disoteric, mal methic wait, guys, guys, identical. Identical. Right? So I'm going to go out and buy four of these. <laughs> Hurry up before I buy them all. I... I'm not a fan of the Charlotte Tilbury um, lip cheat. I know, I'm probably like one of three people that doesn't really care for it. It just, it's expensive, It I have to sharpen it a lot, um, it wears nicely and all that good stuff, but I just, yeah. So, I have the shade Pillow Talk, of course. I wanna say this came in like a little set. I don't remember buying it individually, but I could be wrong. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, and it's really pretty. In fact, hang on. I mean, it's called a lip cheat, so if you don't cheat over your lip line, you're, who are you? Then um, the Jason Wu pencil that just came out at Target. This shade is a little more yellow, so I'm gonna actually do a little more hunting. It's the only one I could find um, at the time. So it's a little more yellow than the Pillow Talk shade, but I have a feeling it's still, you know. And honestly, it's the same. It's the same texture. Another one that's the same, the Kylie Lip Pencil. I know, right? Did I just lose my... So this is shade, this actually came, this is bare, I think is the shade. The Kylie one, you guys, it's nice. It's really nice. And it has a really good, you know, it stays.
I think it was in a gift. I think I got an Ulta Diamond Herc at Christmas. This shade's a little more nude and this one's more pink. All right. I love this Pat McGrath Blow Up is the shade and it is a um, the Lip Fetish The Balm. It's so hurty. I have to be very careful. These little guys, they gonna break. You know what, by Terry, I'm gonna use your mirror. Your powder is overpriced, but I'm gonna use your mirror. Okay, do you see this? <laughs> okay, oh, I love this. So this is like my favorite combo right now um, for just casual, beautiful nude lips. And then the L'Oreal, this is the new Le Nude something, and it has this fancy, they, they made the bullet really fancy looking, and this is shade 171. It's got that rose, I know, I know. The Pat McGrath is slightly glossier, like just a little bit glossier, but her $10, this L'Oreal, and there's other shades too. And it's not matte, it's kind of, it's satin. Um, it's just kind of lipsticky. It's not terribly, you know, matte or, yeah. So this one right here is Pat McGrath. And this one right here is L'Oreal. And I think it's pretty good. <laughs> so I get excited. I hope this is fun for you too. I will leave links below. And I really hope if you can subscribe to my channel, that would be great. Give this video a thumbs up. Let me know if you've got, if you think you have a better dupe than what I've shown you now. I wanna know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.